Hello, and uh, today we don't have much time for the episode. Sorry that we missed the, the previous episode, but uh, there is just too much going. So, we're going to do a short, quick episode, just to make sure that we're actually doing things again. I will have to do way more next week, and I've got a lot of plans in the books. But we're doing a 16 minute K venture, and uh, then we will see how we actually do. Now, that does bring different theories into play, but uh, that's why we kind of go far, and uh, just hope we can find a big K. I kind of want to keep the strip mining to a minimum, and uh, we're going to basically use the potion of night vision, 8 minutes twice. So let's just take a look for what looks like a cave and that's where we'll begin. So a lot of the time has been lost to the fact that uh, the studies have been intense and that's why I kind of want to stick to the episodes as a goal that I want to keep and therefore we are going to do something short today. And uh, that didn't actually look like it might be a cave down there. So let's just go a little bit further and just see. I really hope that picking this direction at random pays off, aka that we can find a cave. Uh, we found the world border, so we'll just uh, diverge and go this way. This is going to come up to the other world border soon. But let's just see how we can do. Now, I believe it's just here to my right. So let's just quickly actually try our best to pick a spot where there's a cave. And currently, it looks like that's a no-go. Let's just see. That is slightly too short, I think. But let's just see. Maybe we can find something. Let's just see. Does it go deeper? I did hear a skeleton and I see a spider. Perfect. There we go. We'll just get rid of that guy. And uh, now let's get rid of those. And we're not going to use uh, anything besides the time from this. And yes, I hear the skeletons. Ooh, they're kind of dangerous when you don't have armor besides uh, the elytra on your back. But that's okay, let's just keep going. So yes, the, the studying life is kind of difficult because uh, there is just always too much for you to have to do. And uh, you need to just leave because I kind of want to go down. Okay. So because the night vision is already on, we're just going to go down. Oh, I'm I'm sad. Literally, that's the first thing that happens, is it's not actually a cave. Yeah, it's just my luck, and I can share for free that, so it's kind of annoying. And I think I just saw a little hint of iron to the left there, but that's not going to count for this. So let's just head down, and this will count I suppose and there we go we got some more resources ah uh, it's a it's a little bit sad that I didn't look for a cave before this episode but like I said the time is kind of an issue I pretty much don't have the free time in a day yeah I I thought about it for a moment after saying that it's not really free time because you just have to plan things for your episodes and things but for that reason, I don't really have too much time. And uh, I kind of just need something to show. And that's what we're going to do today. Ooh. There we go. And you are just annoying. Come. Thank you. There we go. Let's just take a look, peek around, and start grabbing resources. It's kind of not completely intelligent to to do the caving like this but it's it's nice to have a challenge 
There we go. And uh, we'll just leave that there. Oh, that corner's safe. We'll just grab the resources here. And kill the creeper. And you can explode. Oh, you don't want to. Because I kept walking a bit too far away. But we don't have to worry about that, do we? Because, uh, sure, we don't actually want any cobblestone. But that isn't today's problem. The, the difficult side is literally... I have found a new strategy that is working out for me. And when you find a new strategy, you need to stick to it. And for that reason, it means that I have less time until the end of November. Now, on that thought, this is November. This is National Novel Writing Month. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a challenge for like-minded writers around the world to write 50,000 words in a month. A book. Now, think about this. Study for an hour. Have a break for 15 minutes. Yes. Then, in that 15 minutes break, I write about, on average, um, let's just put that down there. Uh, I pretty much, on average, have been writing, in that 15 minute break, about uh, 400 to 500 words, and we kind of need to try and get 1,667 words in a day. Basically, it's slightly difficult just because of the fact that we're supposed to write as much as we can. Now, it's a, it's a good thing for it to be a challenge, because you need to change your mind. That way, it changes what you think about. Now, I'm pretty uncertain about everything that is happening currently. And uh, for that reason, I kind of need to spend a lot more of the time studying the exact same thing over and over. And so that's why I'm just going to have to deal with that. So I'm going to just get rid of you and break the spawner. Uh, I kind of figure we can just get rid of the junk. I was about to throw some of that away and I was like, ooh, that is not actually junk. And we can just throw that in there. I kind of don't feel like taking the music discs for this challenge, but that's okay. Just to double check, because you should probably double check what you do. There we go. And let's go left first. This looks like a dead end. Well, at least there is a little bit of coal. I, I'm glad we found at least one thing down here. But it's a low point scoring item. So for the, the 16 minutes that we're spending today, we're going to have to pretty much accept the fact that we're probably so far only going to get low points because it's mostly coal. And there we go. Yes, please shoot that zombie. There we go. I appreciate you. And there we go. Grab the resources. Because when the timing runs out, we don't want to be in trouble. So we're going to go this way. It's kind of not really good. And as you can see, we're not lighting it up. But that is for a reason. We're using night vision. There's no point lighting that up. We will light it up when we get to the end. And not the whole cave. It's literally as much as we need to. There we go. Ah, oh, perfect. I wonder if there's anything down here besides a skeleton. And that answer is actually no. So that feels like a waste. But that we will deal with. Because we're just rushing. There we go. No. Ooh, there's more deposits of the ores. That is perfect. Now, you might wonder, what am I writing for Nanorimo? Now, it's kind of something that was difficult to choose. It is trying to build a science fiction novel, and that science fiction novel, unfortunately, requires slightly different science. Like, Abstract compared to past, yes, there is lots behind me, 
but let's just not accidentally look at him. We'll just check there. Okay, we'll come get this first. There we go. Now, it's kind of a science about the fact that we are now past 2018, obviously, and uh, NASA is going to be starting to colonize Mars. We are a team of investigators due to a new material they found on Mars that uh, they can't decide what it tells to us. I need to English because words are clearly difficult for me today currently. Whoopsie. Yeah, I I kind of figure that, uh, whoopsie, that uh, the important part should be the fact that we are a science team that gets taken to Mars because of an unfortunate circumstance. And there will be more of that in the book. So don't stress about that too much. But we will accidentally go to a completely different universe. And uh, let's just go like so. So that we can get that lava to go out of the way. Because uh, soon we're not going to have the safety. Let's just see. Let's minimize that. Oh, that's why. Okay. We, we're basically away from the safety for a sec. It just happened to be lit. So we're in the second eight minutes. And uh, I was like, oh, I was going to lose one point. I think it's one point. Like I said, I'll have to double check this. But uh, you, you can decide if you want to try and predict what we get. I feel like this run is not going to be as eventful as the previous run. So let's just uh, throw away that iron for a second and grab all of this. And soon we're going to just need to make some space in the inventory. Yeah, so think about that when you're doing something like this. There we go. Ah, that's totally why I have the torches with me. It wasn't why I brought them. I don't know why I brought them. But uh, it was to just stop the water from flowing. I can technically actually use it for lava, I just realized. But yeah. Think about this. Completely different science to what we see here on Earth. In completely different ways. That is basically my goal. It's thinking of completely different things in completely different ways. And uh, for that reason... It's, it's kind of intense for the, the story. So let's just grab that, because uh, we need to do this the quick way. This is a speed run, obviously. There we go. There's a skeleton. He's going to come and try to kill me. Ah, oh, that way is basically a dead end. And let's go to the goal. There we go. And there. I didn't have to get rid of that. But I think we might have to go to the bad strategy quite soon. And sorry for the time that uh, I kind of took that was extra when the lava was there. But uh, we'll just have to see how long that was. I, I might take quite a while to work that out. So if you can work that out, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. On, on that side, it would be very nice for things to grow and new things to come, but I need to try and stick to the actual schedule. That is what would basically pay off for us. And uh, so far, this month, it's been slightly difficult to do that. You can probably understand that, because uh, sometimes it can be distracting. I, I don't want to not be careful, and that's why I've been minimizing the amount of time I spend in our Minecraft world, but I still want to have at least one episode every week, and for that reason, we might unfortunately a few more times have things like this. And there we go, and here we go, we're just grabbing stuff as fast as we can, because uh, I think we're close. There we go. Ooh, resources. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of slightly annoying that I prefer to stick to silk touch, but we have the mending picks, and uh, I kind of prefer the smooth stone. It's it's something that I feel fits into more builds, and uh, for that reason, I kind of need to make sure we don't have any trouble with uh, accidentally getting a million diamonds. Not that not not that we'll get a million diamonds at a single point of time, but uh, it's something that we should expect. When we need the space in our inventory, the silk touch kind of pays off. There we go. And uh, there we go. And there we go. We kind of need to make it slightly safer. Ooh, more points. I was, I'm actually surprised at how long ago it was that I said, ooh, we must be close. I, I pretty much obviously lied. It was an accident, uh, accidental lie, but it feels bad. You can understand that, can't you? It, it feels bad, man. Ooh. Let's just grab these points. Come on. We can do this. We're trying to be hardcore at this challenge. And uh, there we go. And there we go. Phew. Now, it doesn't seem like there's much there. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. D don't, don't accidentally run and jump over a pit because it could be lava you can you can probably see that for free Ooh. okay let's get as much as we can there we go and uh, I've just thought about it when going to the surface what happens when we get more resources do we keep those resources or do we just basically throw those away. I kind of figure we're not going to throw them away, but they're not going to count for points. Actually, iron first, just in case, because uh, four iron, yes. Um, yeah, I kind of figure that uh, we shouldn't really throw it away because we have the world border, as you saw, and as I've told you guys several times. I kind of figure we should just make sure we keep it. It just shouldn't count for points for this, and uh, for that reason, this is slightly dangerous, I just suddenly realized. There we go, and let's get the redstone first. Yeah, it, it, it just fits that we use this to get vast quantities of the resources that we need, and uh, I'm sure you guys understand it because uh, there's not much to it. And I'm too far away. I, sh I didn't think that through, as you can see. Oh, that's where I came across. And I've gone across there. Let's just not accidentally jump over the lava again, because I've slightly panicked. And we'll just head up here. And there we go. Ooh, that works perfectly. More points. It's kind of what we need currently. I wonder, what is there besides the the zombies, obviously? Whew, you gave me a fright, but there we go. I was panicking there. You could obviously hear that I paused and ran. I'm like, Ooh! I didn't really breathe breathe that fast, but like, it it's what that was to us. And up here. We'll just leave that water there, because now the important part is getting points. Whew. There we go. Seeing as that is worth more than coal, and it might only be two coal sometimes, thanks to the cave's generation. But that we'll just have to work out. Okay. We are basically just about to get... Our vision. I was about to say sight. There we go. Okay, that one was mined before. And there we go. So, now, let's just think this through. I should probably 
not go up like this but let's just uh, do it this way because then we can see if it's a resource and then avoid it so I don't want to throw it away or anything so I'll definitely bring you back in a moment and we'll be back at the home base I literally feel like this was slightly different but uh, just so that I can share it with you let's just uh, actually remember it's F5 so one point coal and two points iron five points for laps and redstone ten points for gunpowder or gold diamonds twenty points each emeralds fifty points 425 coal points, 296 iron points, 96, uh, 95 lapis points, I can't add, 135 redstone points, 230 gold points, and 200 diamond points, but unfortunately zero emerald points, that is slightly sad, but 1381. So, this is what we'll do here, 1381. That is way more than the first one. And this is what we'll say, second run equals the win. It, second run is the one that won that point. We'll do a few more runs in the future, but uh, as I'm sure you can tell, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll do an, a short episode if we have to do that in the future, so we won't miss one again, but uh, we're definitely going to do a long ep long episode next week probably on Thursday. So I'll see you then. Cheers, cheers.